I said, it said, what does hashtag even mean, anyway? Who knows, Henry? That's the mystery of the message. Well, it's been nice chatting with you. Gotta go now. Not so fast, Henry. Huh? I think it would be nice if you spent some time with Peter today. Oh, sure. Come on, Peter. Let's go play Go the Worm. Not that kind of time, Henry. Quality time. Quality time? Yes, like... Like... like solving the mystery of the message! No. Oh, no. No more mysteries, please! What a lovely idea, Peter. Off you two go, then. What are you doing today, Mum? Maybe I can help you! Today, I'm spring cleaning the kitchen. Spring cleaning the kitchen? Of course! It couldn't be a light spot of dusting or emptying the bins. It has to be spring cleaning the kitchen! No, just can't do it. I ask you, is life fair? Come on, then, worm. The answer is no, by the way. Wait for me. I'll just get my magnifying glass. Morning, Dad. Morning, Peter. Henry just offered to help me spring clean the kitchen. Is he feeling OK? Ooh, this tin is really dirty, Henry. You ought to have a spring clean in here. Be my guest. You should take pride in your surroundings. I do take pride in my surroundings. I'm very proud of my fort. Just the way it is. When are we going to start solving the mystery, Henry? Whoa, that's scary. Not as scary as Mum's going to be if you don't help me solve the mystery. <sighs> Tell me again what the message said. It said... Hashtag number no number one. Oh, joy. My Saturday morning is complete. Margaret, you saw it too. Shall we? Thought you might need some company. Thanks, Ralph. Gross! This is really cool, Henry. Yeah, I know. Ralph, you'll excuse me. What are we doing? I'm doing my lines. And I'm watching him. Oh? Could I watch too? Be my guest. I must not put my hand up in class unless I know the answer. Signed, Henry. But it says on the board, Henry. Oh, no. It says on the board that I must put my hand up in class even if I don't know the answer. So why are you writing it wrong, Henry? I'm not writing it wrong, Al. I'm writing it right. In fact, Al, I'm not going to write it at all. You'll be in big trouble. But it doesn't make sense what I've got to write, does it? No. Well, you'll still be in big trouble. You know what? I don't care. I'm going to get some fresh air. Fresh air? Henry? That really doesn't make sense. Good day at school, Henry. Horrid. What, you or the day at school? <laughs> what do you think? I had a perfect day at school. Why am I not surprised? I got a gold star for my scrapbook on making your toilet roll go further, and then I got a gold star for my essay on how to blow your nose in public without making a noise, and then I got another gold star for putting my hand up in class every time the teacher asked a question, even if I didn't know the answer. Can you believe it? What's for tea? Something that's good for you. That means something I won't like. Not necessarily. We made fairy cakes to celebrate. Oh, goody. The Number Gnomes fairy cakes. Double goody. With pom-poms on. Ooh, triple. Oh, what's the point? I can't even be bothered to be horrid anymore. Did you know that there has never, ever been a female president of the three worlds? 
though depending on when you're watching this, that might not still be true. Dear Margaret Millicent Mordita Smythe, never forget how special you are. You can do it. Signed, me. Oh. Next up, I need a campaign manager. Oh, an email from little old me. How nice. <laughs> you won, Henry! Sit, everyone! Please, miss! Yes, Margaret? I'm going to get myself elected as president of the free world, Miss Battleaxe. Are you now, Margaret? I suppose you think it's a bad idea, Miss Battleaxe. On the contrary, I think it's a very good idea. Uh, you're not an American citizen, but we'll pass over that. I can speak American, Miss. Yeah. Yes, thank you. That won't be necessary, Margaret. Yes, Miss. So, I am going to nominate you. Oh, thank you, Miss. You're going to need a good campaign manager. Any volunteers? Come on! This is your chance to make history! Henry? Yes, miss. I'll be moody... I mean, Margaret's campaign manager. Well, I can truly say this moment will go down in history. Well, then... Let's get started. Repeat after me. Margaret for president. 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 But it's just an old cushion, Henry. No, it's not. It's my cushion. It's my favourite cushion. The one I watched too cool for school behind. Don't you mean with or on? No, I mean behind. Too cool for school's quite scary sometimes. And I want it back. <sighs> Here, you can have it back, Henry. I'll get Fluffy another cushion to sleep on. Change my mind. I don't want it back. Why not? It's covered in cat hairs and Fluffy's been sleeping on it. It's only a bit covered in cat hairs and Fluffy's not sleeping on it now. Oh, I don't care. I'm not sharing my cushion with a cat. Have it your own way, Henry. I'm going to tell Mum. Do yourself, Worm. I'm going to watch Number Gnomes. I'm only joking. Ah! Worm. Off us go! Don't be horrid, Henry. Mum says we can buy Fluffy a new bed. Well, what to do? Don't be horrid, Henry. Hey, if Fluffy's getting a new bed, then I want a new cushion. Oh, don't be horrid, Henry. And I know exactly. Which cushion I want? Who put that in there? You did, when you were spring cleaning the kitchen. Don't be horrid, Henry. This is the cushion I want. Look at that. Is that not a thing of beauty? Oh, this one is perfect for Fluffy Wuffy. Now this one is perfect for horrid Henry. I only wanted to give him a really special surprise. I know you did, Honey Bundle. And it was a really special surprise. I think you just took him by, well, surprise. <laughs> he did have a funny look on his face. What sort of a look? Oh, a surprise sort of a look. Right. Well, hopefully he'll come down for breakfast soon. What are you looking for? A present for Henry. But that's... Yes, it's a cleaning item. I think it's about time Henry started to do the washing up. Don't you? Well, uh, yes, but... Back in a rolly-mo! Huh? 
Henry, doing the washing up. Now, I know you're going to be asking yourselves why I'm not pleased about having another birthday. And the thing is, I am pleased, really. Because I know Mum and Dad have got me a present. It's hidden in their wardrobe. And I'm guessing that the worm's got me something. Something I probably don't want, but anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Great Aunt Greta will give me something girly. And I do like the fuss, really. Even if it's only the worm throwing bits of paper at me. I know that's all part of the birthday fun. Oh, but I also know that I'm getting older. One year older, to be precise. And that means one year closer to having to go to work. Getting married. Ugh. Why does that always happen? And generally realising that life doesn't always get better as you get bigger. Ready for some more birthday fun, Henry? Are we ready for some more birthday fun? Yep, it is. Mom! Henry's watching Gross stuff again! Well, that didn't last long. At least I've got my comic to read. Oh, no, I haven't. I left it in the kitchen. Essential prop, this is. Where are you going, Henry? To get a glass of water. All right, then, but be quick. I will. Hello, Henry. Doing your homework, Dad? You could say that. Only thing I could do to help, Dad? Not really, unless you like counting toothbrushes. Well... Maybe the number gnomes can help. Henry, what are you doing out of bed? Came down for a glass of water. What are you doing out of bed? Came down for a glass of... Ooh. Are you playing number gnomes? Not exactly. I'm number gnome number 365. And I'm number gnome 2799. Which means I'm number gnome number... Uh... Which means you're number gnome number 3164. <clears throat> yes. Thank you, Peter. And none of us like brushing our teeth with tingly toothbrushes. <laughs> <laughs> Henry, bed. We're counting toothbrushes. What do you mean, we? Peter? <sighs> bed, now. I said bed, now. <sighs> Penny for them, Henry. Penny for what? What you're thinking, Henry? I can hear your brain working. Oh, I'm thinking about working hard. You feeling all right, Henry? No, not me. My dad. Your dad's thinking about working hard. Not thinking about it. He is working hard. Too hard, I reckon. Is he still watching Boodle Poodles? Don't think he's got time for that. <sighs> If you haven't even got time to watch your favourite TV show, then something's got to change. Hey! Watch out! Something wrong, Slug Snot. Yeah, you, Snot for Brains. Ha! Write me a letter, Worm Bread, so I can file it under Beetle Brain. You Eureka! That's it! Thanks, Bogey Brain! For what? We're not going to have to watch that for a while. Yeah, cos it's... Holiday time! Come on, you horrible lot. Get a move on. Thank you, kind sir. What did you say? Uh, well, I said thank you, kind sir. Right. That's it, you worried boy. <laughs> Detention! Now, now, Mr Soggington, let's not get too enthusiastic. It's the last day of term, remember? Oh, yes, Miss Oddmonder. I was, um, forgetting myself. Oh, run along, Henry. We'll defer your detention to next term, if anybody remembers it. Yes, Miss Oddmond! I don't know about you, 
But I've got the feeling that today's going to be a good day. Oh, I think we can do better than that. It is a special day today, after all. They won't keep till next term, whatever you say. <laughs> Thank you, Graham's mum. You're welcome, Henry. Going somewhere nice for your holidays? Oh, yeah. Well, my mum hasn't actually booked anything yet, but... That's nice, dear. Best day ever! <laughs> Miss Battleaxe was positively cheerful in lessons this morning. <laughs> so, where's everyone off to for their holidays? I don't know. Somewhere with no spiders. Already have a creepy crawlies. Sports camp. Executive chef course. Fifty winning ways with a carrot. As far away from here as possible. Yeah, me too. At least I hope it will be. I'm thinking desert island, sun, sea, sand, and the worm in his proper place. Yeah, and no teachers. <laughs> Thanks, Ralph. <coughs> Sorry, Henry. Mm, that's OK. <laughs> Nothing can spoil today, cos it's... Holiday time! Right, that's better. Shall we carry on? <sighs> Sorry I'm late. What have I missed? Uh, what have I missed? King Henry the Horrible? Welcome, Al the Aerobic. Not much. You what? You haven't missed much. Oh, thank you. Who are you? I am Peter the Perfect, banished to the Swamplands for speaking the eternal truth. Oh, that's tough. Yes, but not hard and tough, because that could mean the same thing, and... Oh, for goodness sake, let's get on with it, shall we? Get on with what? Our mission! Oh, right. What's one of them, then? Our mission, oh Knights of the Purple Hand! Oh, you're not too late, am I? Greetings, Graham the Greedy. Where are we up to, then? Our mission is to find the Crimson Cutlass and bring it back to its rightful home. But doesn't the Crimson Cutlass belong to Margaret? Yeah, and she's never going to give it to us. I know no one with that name. And anyhow, it's rightfully mine, because... Because? Just because! Because what, Henry? Because it's rightfully mine! But... Oh, shall we get on? Otherwise this episode will be over before we've even started! Oh, right. Cool. Not cool? Where's Ralph the Rudulus? His grandma's taken him to the posh car emporium. Ooh, get him. So what's next then, Henry? I mean, uh, your kingship sire. The Tunnel of Eternal Peril. Ooh, goody! That's one of my favourite bits. Beauty. I thought we were travelling by horse, and I haven't got any coconuts, so I thought I'd clap my hands instead. Oh, I've got some coconuts, but they're at home. Shall I run and get them, your kingship, sire? No, thank you. We can do without the coconuts. Halt! We have halted, Henry. We have now arrived at the Tunnel of Eternal Peril. Oh, the Tunnel of Eternal Peril. Oh, Keeper of the Tunnel of Eternal Peril, do you hear me? I hear you, weary traveller. May we pass, Keeper of the Tunnel of Eternal Peril. What does Eternal Peril mean, anyway? I'm not sure, but I don't think it's anything very good. May we pass, Keeper. I heard what you said. I'm just trying to remember what I have to say next. <sighs> Look, I say, may we pass, and you say, only if you answer my questions three, and then I say, do your worst, and then... Oh, oh, yes, I remember. Only if you answer my questions three. Do your worst, O oh Keeper of the Tunnel of Eternal Peril. <laughs> this is fun. <sighs> <sighs> Yeah, yeah, yeah.
<laughs> yes, Worm? Chief Secretary of the Purple Hand Gang reporting for duty, sir. What is it now, Worm? Here, hold this. <sighs> yes, Lord High Majesty. <sighs> Snot bag. Your snot bag, Lord High Majesty. Thanks, Worm. The pleasure is all mine, Lord High Majesty. <laughs> pull, Susan. Pull the rope. Yeah, pull the rope. Ahem. What is it, Worm? You haven't forgotten about your appointment with the enemy, have you, Lord High Majesty? You what? Your appointment with the enemy. Oh, that. Fuss about nothing if you ask me. My spies tell me she has a new and secret weapon. Does she now? Well, maybe we've got a new and secret weapon or two of our own, hey, Fang? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But... Hey, Henry. Ready for some action? Right, let's start with the easy ones. Bogey brain, beetle brain, duck brain. Any other kind of brain? Well, duh, no, cos brains don't really come into it. Yeah, don't really. Do you mind? I'm thinking. Oh, yeah, I'm thinking. Good, cos we need more names. Yeah, more names. You what, Margaret? More names. I said we need more names. Oh, yeah, we need more names. Go on, then. Look in there. Yeah, look in there. You what, Margaret? Go on. Open the book. Yeah, open the book. Oh, this is what I have to work with. I haven't got all day, Susan. Oh, yeah, all day, Susan. Oh, I'll do it then, shall I? Yeah, shall I? <laughs> do you think we'll ever get fed up of squeezing snot bags? Uh, no, because we're rude. <laughs> and horrid. You hungry? Could be. Empty. I'll go and get reinforcements. And I'll squeeze my snot bag some more. <laughs> Morning, duck brain. Bogey brain. It's bogey brain. Or beetle brain. Duck brain doesn't work. You what? You have to use the same letters. Bogey brain, BB. Slug snot, SS. Surprised you didn't know that. Just testing. Anyway, who says I have to? No one. You telling me I have to? No. That's the problem with you, Henry. You're so bossy. Bossy? I'm bossy. You're the bossy one around here. Who are you calling bossy? Nice one, Henry. But she's moody, isn't she? Oh, yes. Sorry, I forgot. You're moody. Moody Margaret. Thanks for that, rude Ralph. Or maybe I should call you Ridiculous Ralph. Huh. Mission accomplished. Refreshments, Ralph. Or should I call you Ridiculous Ralph? <laughs> That's not my name, Henry. I know it's not, but it is quite a funny name. You might think so. I don't. My name's Rude Ralph, and that's that. All right, all right. Keep your hair on. I know that. I was born to be rude. Yeah, yeah. I know that, too. Think about it, Henry. What if you were called Hilarious Henry? Wouldn't be too bad. I have been known to be quite funny sometimes. Yeah, but it's not the same as being horrid, is it? No, I guess not. Now, are we going to get on with squeezing these snot bags or not? <laughs> yeah, because we're rude <laughs> and horrid. <laughs> but I always leave my skateboard there at night, so I know where it is in the morning. Well, you can just unleave it there from now on. Unleave it? Is that even a word? 
Don't be horrid, Henry. You know exactly what I mean. No, I don't. Do you know what she means? I know what I mean, and that's the important thing. I guess. Come on, you two. You're going to be late. <laughs> Thank you, Henry. I think. Now, where was I? We're going to be late. Oh, yes. Look at the time, Henry. Duh! Look at the time, Henry! Where? Where is it? Where's the time, Dad? <laughs> I'm late. I'm late. For a very important... Date? No, meeting. My tie. Where did I put my tie? <laughs> You're wearing it, Dad. Have a good day. Morning. Horrid family. Well, that was a good start to the morning. And that makes it even better. I'll be lucky if I see my skateboard again this week. Too right, Henry. Mum's really, really cross with you. <laughs> Welcome to my morning. Mornings can be good or bad. Sometimes you can't always tell straight away what kind of morning it's going to be. Like at the weekends, when Mum decides that I have to get up early and do my chores. But sometimes she forgets to come and yell at me, and I get to lie in till lunchtime. So that's a good morning. Until Mum remembers and comes and yells at me again. Usually to pick my clothes up off the floor. I try telling her it's a floor drobe. Well, she doesn't believe me. So then what was a good morning becomes a bad morning. Morning! Don't know yet whether it's a good one or a bad one. It's a horrid one. Hey, Henry. Hey, Ralph's mum. Is Ruda... is Ralph in? He isn't in. He's out. Oh, right. Uh, do you know when he'll be back? Oh, yes. He'll be back when he's back. Right. Well, I'll come back later then, shall I? Why don't you come back later, Henry? Yes. Yes, I'll do that. Bye, Henry. Bye, Ralph's mum. Horrid boy. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, uh, thank you, I think. Hey, Bert's dad. Is Bert with you? I don't know. OK. Is he at home, then? I don't know. Has he gone to the park? I don't know. The playground? I don't know. The cinema? I don't know. Swimming pool? I don't know. Someone else's house? I don't know. My house? I don't know. Oh, well, then. I guess you don't know where Bert is. I don't know. William's mum says William can't come out to play because he's waiting for something. <laughs> Weird. So, if the dingle dongle goes here and the multiple matcher goes here, that means that the... It's me! It's Henry! It's me! Oh, uh, Henry, oh, come on in! What are you doing, Brian? I'm... Oh, I'm not supposed to tell you. What do you mean you're not supposed to tell me? It's a secret. A secret? Oh, it's complicated. Lots of things are complicated, Brian. Oh, I know. The last maths test Miss Fatlack set us was really complicated and... Life's complicated, Brian. Yes, it is, Henry. All 
quiet on the bogey brain front. Yeah, it's been quiet for a while now. Too quiet. Oh, you know, we haven't done a really big raid on the secret club for a long time. <laughs> Do you remember the last time, though? How mad she got! Yeah, <laughs> she couldn't believe you got both of them at the same time. Got any other plans for today, Henry? Oh, I don't believe we have, Ralph. Then let's get planning the raid of the century. <laughs> now, have I got everything? Clipboard, check. Certificates, check. And three different colours of pens. Check. You know, you really are a good chief secretary of the Purple Hand Gang. In fact, you would be a really good first deputy leader of the Purple Hand Gang. <clears throat> good evening. I am the first deputy leader of the Purple Hand Gang. Ooh, that sounds good. Do another one, Peter. <clears throat> Good evening. I am the first deputy leader of the Purple Hand Gang. That's nice, Peter. Oh, I, I didn't mean... It's so nice to see you playing so well with your brother. I know it's not easy. But you're such a good boy, Peter, and I'm glad Henry's finally realised just how good you are. Yes. Yes, I am good. You know what you need, first deputy leader of the Purple Hand Gang? You need a hat. A hat? A Purple Hand Gang hat. Ooh. can not you speak, Henry? Well, yeah, but mostly she... <laughs> She does that, only sometimes it's worse. Cool. No, not cool. The best babies are plastic ones. Like my fairy wary walkie talkie burpy slurpy teasy wheezy doll. <coughs> I call her Cutie Pie. Yeah, call her Cutie Pie. That is what I call her, Susan. I call her Cutie Pie. Yeah, call her Cutie Pie. Ugh. Sometimes, Susan. Yeah, sometimes, Susan. <sighs> well, are you coming or what? Yeah, or what, Margaret? <laughs> 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 about it. You what? You don't have to do anything about it. Oh, done, done. Oh, right. Well then. Are you rolling your eyebrows at me, Henry? No. Susan, we're off. Yeah, we're off. <laughs> 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 So, the theme for today is My Baby. As you can see, everyone has a different idea of what their baby is. My little cat Tiddles is my baby. <coughs> Mr. Soggington. <coughs> <coughs> Mr. Soggington. <coughs> Uh, sorry, Miss Oddbond. Uh, just uh, making faces at my baby. <laughs> <laughs> so, as I was saying, our babies are all very different, but they have one thing in common. We love them very much. <laughs> <laughs> Fizzy in a dizzy. Yeah, well, don't get any ideas, Vera. <laughs> Fizzy in a dizzy. Why do I get the feeling that today could be complicated? Can you believe the worm? Anyone would think I wasn't his older and better brother. Here goes. 
Well, come on, man. I'm not doing this on my own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, Henrietta. Hello, great aunt Greta. Happy unbirthday, Henrietta. Oh, uh, thank you, great aunt Greta. They're toffee tongue twisters. Toffee tongue twisters? Cool. My favorite. Thanks, great aunt Greta. You're welcome, Henrietta. It's not easy being the little sister of a teenager. Too right it's not. Mwah. Mwah. Okay, da. Where's the darling birthday boy then? He's uh he's waiting for you in the living room, Ruby. I say, okay, y'all, Henry. Uh, yep. I say, okay, y'all, too, Steve. I say, my fave, okay, y'all, Henry. Yeah, well, my fave too, okay, y'all. Okay, y'all, Henry. I say, uh, going to give a chap one, Henry? <laughs> no way. Get your own tongue twisters. These are mine. Stucco Steve. Oh, uh, just put them over there. Oh, uh, you can go now. Thank you. Come on, Henry. Time for some party fun. Fancy a bit of pre-party snacking before the party fun? Oh, fluffy. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, Henry, answer the door, will you? <sighs> Hello, Henry. Hello, Miss Lovely. Lovely day, isn't it, Henry? Yes, lovely, Miss Lovely. I came to wish lovely Peter a lovely birthday. Oh, right. Lovely present. Lovely Peter. Yeah, right. Lovely Peter. Lovely if I could come in, Henry. Oh, uh, yes. Come in, Miss Lovely. Lovely Henry. They're all in there. Oh, lovely. This is good. <laughs> this is very good. Now... Shall I start with a supersized sausage or a happy hippo hamburger? One of each. What were you doing anyway, Henry? It was like you were in another world. Cool. Another world. Uh, is that cool? It's cool, Al. I was designing the Henry Goose Slime Calculometer. Cool. Uh, what's one of them, Henry? The Henry Goose Slime Calculometer. It does your math test for you and goos your enemies at the same time as making the best slime ever. Cool. Can I have one, Henry? <sighs> if I had one, Al, I would give it to you, but I don't. It's only a drawing on a piece of paper. What's he so happy about? Maths test, that's what. Hey, Brian, any top tips for the maths test? Use your brain, Henry. It's a good one. Yeah, right. I think. What did he say? Not much. Just to use my brain. Yeah, well, that's going to be difficult when you've got snot for brains. Yeah, snot for brains. At least my brain's not a duck's brain. <laughs> says who? Yeah, says who? Face it, Henry. Tests are not really our thing, are they? I guess not. Keep your peace, Henry. Yeah, OK. Mm. Oh, Henry, don't you want your broccoli burger? No. Ooh, thank you, Henry. I love broccoli burgers. You're welcome. And I know. Is something wrong, Henry? What do you mean, worm? I mean, you're even more grumpy than usual, even taking into account that it's broccoli burgers for tea. Yeah, well, you'd be grumpy too if you had a math test. No, I wouldn't. I'd be ready for it with a smile on my face and a song in my heart. You are such a weird worm, worm. Yep, 
That's me. <sighs> All right, then. Tell me how you do it. So, you see, Henry, hard work plus dedication equals success. No work plus pretending that it's never going to happen equals failure. Tell me something I don't know. All right, then. Did you know that in space, no one can hear you scream? No. Is that true? Yes. Gordon says it is, and he's too goody-goody to tell a lie. Well, that's the problem, Worm. You're all too goody-goody, and I'm not. <sighs> I don't think I can help you, Henry. You're going to have to help yourself. All right, then. I will. If you've got to do a test, make sure you are better than the rest. <sighs> Henry, will you hurry up? Not now, Fluffy. I'm busy. Good morning, Fluffy Wuffy. Did you sleep well, Fluffy Wuffy? Oh, are you ready for some bricky wacky, Fluffy Wuffy? There you go, Fluffy Wuffy. What is it, Fluffy Wuffy? <laughs> Do you want some more, Fluffy Wuffy? Mom, have you seen Boy in the sitting room? A boy under the city. We're going to be late. Just have a banana, Henry. Yuck! Fruit? You're asking me to take a piece of fruit to school? I'll have a banana, Mum. Worm. Mum! Will you hurry up? We're going to be late. Bye, Mum. Bye, sweetie bun. Bye, Henry. Bye, Mum. <sighs> Peace at last. Come on, Fluffy. Let's get the ball rolling. Go sleeping on Peter's bed, Fluffy. To show that you're king, to show you don't care and you're going somewhere.